Hey everybody! Thanks for being here. I'm Mama Bear. Welcome back to the channel. And we are having our Saturday night live tonight. I got my coffee ready to go, Mr. R2D2, here to keep me company, keep me caffeinated. Tastes good. Um, husband's not here at the moment, so let's hope this goes well. Fingers crossed. Kids are going to be good. They're usually pretty good, right? Usually. So, um, I got some dinner here as well, but I'm, my main focus is frying up some Oreos. I think that'd be fun. I was like, you know what? I need to do some kind of, um, dessert. I don't know. Because I had this pork in the crock pot. Let's see. Let's open it up. So this is a barbecue pork. This is one of the freezer meals that we have made. And I'm going to shred this. And then I have baked potatoes in my Instant Pot. And then I have some cheese. And we're just going to make like stuffed potatoes with barbecue pulled pork, cheese, um, some green onion, and sour cream. So that's that. And then I have Oreos, golden Oreo, vanilla, and chocolate because we are a family who likes both. Husband and Gideon like um, vanilla. And then the me, Betty, and Conrad like chocolate. I mean, all is acceptable, but, you know, the, if we have to pick. Oh, everybody's getting here. Hey, everybody. Holly, Judy, Pink, hello. Laura, hello. Hey, Amanda. Oh, deep fried Oreos. Oh, let me get my powdered shaker. Powdered sugar shaker. My powdered shaker sugar. Oh. This thing, too. has powdered sugar for the top of the Oreos. I'm just going to be using some shortening. I got this, um, I think I got this on sale. That's by November of 2019, so it needs to get used up. It doesn't smell bad, like usually you could smell it and it would smell again, so do you know? So this is gonna be good, but I wanna get it used up. So we're going to use this as our fry oil. And then you're supposed to just dip them in pancake batter. I didn't want to buy um, store bought like um, store pancake batter because it's just it was like six bucks for a container, and I'm like, man, I can make my own pancakes. So we're making our own pancake batter as well. Hey Kelly C. Oh hello, soup for my family. You say love my content. Thank you so much. Is this your first live? Welcome. Hey Sarah, Janie. Do you, know, do you like the new chicken coop door? Chicken coop door? I do like it. The chickens like it. Um, it does not fit the turkey, so it is a bit of a shame because I do have to go out there and close the door and stuff, but that's okay. Oh, Sarah ordered pizza. Pizza sounds good, too. Oh, Rena from Helena. Hey! Did you guys get snow this morning? It's so funny. It snowed this morning, and then it warmed up now. <laughs> Pink had grilled steak, baked taters, Band tossed bean toss salad, is that it? Oh, that sounds good. Oh, Judy, your husband gave you the night off. That's nice. Don't you love it? And they're like, yeah, you can order whatever. Mine's usually good. If I'm like, can we order something? He was like, yeah. I mean, he knows whether I'm in the mood or not. Holly put fajita sheet pan style in the oven when I got to notice so I'd not be too hungry. Oh, good idea. You know how I tend to make you hungry. Toss salad. Thank you, Pink. Oh, you're watching from Oregon. Very nice. So, since husband's not home and the kids aren't really hungry, that's hot. Let's just keep this dinner holding. And let's just cook, fry up some Oreos. Why not? I'm going to be using powdered milk. I'm also going to be using powdered butter. Can't see that. Powdered milk and powdered butter for my pancake mix. This is one, just a generic one I usually have. Actually, I actually have it memorized. I've been making pancakes so much. So we're going to do two cups of flour here. And this is just your basic pancake mix here. So we got flour and then it's usually like half a cup or half a stick of butter. Um, where's my table? I did not. So for this one, half a cup equals one stick. So I'm going to do about a quarter of a cup which is just a couple of tablespoons. Oh, actually four tablespoons of butter is quite a cup. Look at that. So we'll do that and then we'll just add like extra water for it. So powdered butter, especially since it's a, um, 
like a mix and not something that we're spreading or anything. I like to use the powdered butter that way as well as the powdered milk. So with this one usually you're going to use about a cup and a half of milk. So we need, where's my R2D2 measuring cup? Hello, we do people. <laughs> so we're going to use half a cup of powdered milk, which would equal two cups of regular milk, of liquid milk. And then also to this, we are going to add two tablespoons of white sugar. More or less to taste. Oh, this is baking soda. I want baking powder. Hold on. If only I had a label maker. Just, you know, that was a little pre-hint because I'm going to be reviewing a label maker. So I'm going to be labeling all my jars. So that's going to be fun. Because it's much needed. It's a good thing. I recognize that. Would you guys be able to recognize the difference between baking soda and baking powder? Just by look. Baking powder is kind of fluffier, you know. And then a tablespoon of baking powder. And that. Oh, and a little bit of salt. Like, uh, sprinkle, 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 sprinkle salt. Alright, so we'll get this all mixed up and then we'll get the, um, the oil melting to this. Let me get water since we added powdered milk. We're going to be adding water. We've got two cups here. We're going to add a splash of vanilla. Like a teaspoon or so. One egg. Look at this beautiful egg. This is from one of our um, black marmon chickens. If you haven't noticed, we're obsessed with chickens around here. One egg in there, um, and then we'll add a little bit of our water, and then we'll check the consistency. If it's a little thick, that's not necessarily a bad thing, in my opinion, because then it'll stick to the it'll stick to the Oreo better, you know. And that's all it takes to make basic pancake mix. All right, I'm gonna add more water already, I can tell. Because remember, we have powdered butter in here as well. That's pretty good, let's add a little bit the rest of it. So that was just under two cups of water. So it's pretty much two cups of flour, plus all of the other ingredients, so two cups of liquid so either water or milk you can totally make this with water if you don't have milk but the powdered milk works really well there we go i would say that's pretty good so we'll let this sit and then let's fill up our pan here this is what i'm planning on using to fish them out um, I've actually never fried Oreos before, so, I mean, let's, let's, let's hope it looks like I know what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm a professional. And then probably a fork, I might need a fork. Alright. And now we wait as that melts. Oh and look uh 
Karen sent me this little piggy pop thing. It's a, you make pigs in a blanket. Put them in there and then you bake them. It's just, um, pancake mix. So you put pancake mix in there, put the little mini dog in there, and then bake them. <laughs> so we're going to give that a try. I think that's super cute. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> oh, hi, Burnt Cheeseburger. How are you? Oh, hey, Nanny. If I miss a comment, just re-say re it, guys. I'm also usually fall behind on comments just to pre-warn you. Oh, hey, Mrs. and Mr. 1982, how are you? Ooh, you had grilled chicken with brown rice, black beans, tossed salad. Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh, pink labels her spices. Just don't mix up salt and sugar. That is a good call. <laughs> Holly loves label maker. I think, I think label maker is like a... I mean, I don't want to say it's a woman thing, but I think us girls, you know, we like label makers, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. Kelly, I pressed something if I saw something. Sorry. You say deep fried Oreos are good, but deep fried Reese's peanut butter cups are to die for. If you have one of those, and since you're deep frying, just a suggestion. Um. Yes, I think I might have one of those. Oh, deep fried peanut butter cup. That would be good. I don't know. I can't think. I have one with like a marshmallow top. I have a bunch of the little candy. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'll wait for one. Do you know what I do have? I have this. I have seen one of these like not for a long time. And I was like, oh, that'd be fun. So it's like a bar with pieces in there. You think that'd be good? Let me know. Alright, let's see. Looking good. It's melting. Nanny's not sure you like these vertical li uh, lives. What don't you like about him, Nanny? I don't mind feedback. Hey, Susie. Hello from Georgia. I love watching you cook in your halls. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I got a catfish from the food bank. Interesting. Hey, Kenneth. How are you? Oh, your nugget took your label maker. That's not good. Oh, you made a sugar-free treat? What was that? Do you have to freeze the candy before you batter it and fry it? That should work. I want to see you try it. Okay, I'll try one. All right, this is not super... I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. It's not too um, tall is the word I'm looking for. All right, guys. Well, I can switch to, um, or the go back to the horizontal, um, lives, especially when I'm cooking, you know, if that would be easier. Oh, I don't know what happened. A whole roll's missing, that darn company. They just don't stock them like they used to, you know. All right, this is not a double stuff. This is a regular stuff. All right, do this. Coat it. Pancake batter. Looking for it to be uh, a little more golden. Do you think I need some more oil in there? Doesn't fully submerge it. I'm starting to see some some brownage. Yeah. All right, let's give her. 
Okay. Um, this is uh, shortening, like Crisco. Hey, Joy, I can't believe you're coming live. Well, welcome. Ooh, two ribeye steaks. I love it. I get more steak from the food bank than I'd ever be able to get. Yeah, the cookie monster's been here. Can you see I had I had a craving? <laughs> we get chicken and ground beef from our food bank. Well, that's nice, too. Hey, Jupiter. All right. Oh, wait, I turned it off. I was wondering, I was like, why is this not? Okay, I turned my heat off. That's the problem. I'm sure my belly did it when I reached over to touch the fan. All right. So my belly got a mind of its own. This one looks pretty good though. And then let's do pretty side up, yeah. Fried Oreo. Alright, are you supposed to try them when they're scorching hot? Let me get it a fork. <laughs> I'm going to fork it. Fork it. Now, this will give us an opportunity to, one, taste the batter, make sure that we like it, and two, make sure it's not poisoned. That is the job as the chef to make sure it's not poisoned. Oh yeah. Definitely poisoned. You can't guys can't have any of this. I like the batter. I think it's good. Oh it's good stuff guys. All right, let's keep going. Let's do a vanilla. Excuse my reach. Were to go to what is this carnivore food or is this more like fair food fried oreos all right let's do three where's that last one pretty good guys definitely the double stuff would be better more cream oh hey patty Aren't those baby chicks so cute? Oh my gosh. Alright, Kelly, I see. I hear you a little more, you say. Let's get these flipped. Oh, that looks much better. And then we'll add, just add the rest of that shortening. Let's get it used up. Oh, yeah. Put it around, make sure it's not sticking. I have all kinds of fried stuff. Fried Twinkies now. I'm sorry I'm making you once week, Sarah. <laughs> Fair food, yes. Whoa. Well, <laughs> did not work. Fried Oreos. Fried Oreos. Why? Yep. Why is it? Yeah. Wait till you try them. 
taste good? No, they're going to taste awful. You don't want any of them. <laughs> yeah, they're going to taste good. <laughs> Alright, this is what I'm, I'm just adding. Vegetable shorting. It's a container I need to get used up anyway. It's comparable to Crisco. Definitely not healthy. Alright, I'm also going to turn it down. Well, no, that's fine. And I'll fish out that last little from there. It's big. So that went everywhere. That's all right. I need to clean my counter anyway. Never use shortening or Crisco. It's okay. Like I said, it's definitely not healthy. I try not to use it too much. I don't fry foods hardly ever. Just because it's, I don't know, I feel like it's a lot of oil. So I don't do it personally as much, but it's good for every once in a while, you know. Especially when I got it on sale. Got a lot of pancake mix left over too. All right, let's try one. I don't know, you think I should throw these in the freezer? Yeah. They're pretty thick. What do you think? Just one square? Oh, that one kind of melted. Let's just do one and we'll see how it goes. how it's gonna go. That's what we're here to find out. So pretty crunchy. Oh it looks good. That's a good pancake mix, batter too mix. Oh I see melted. Chocolate. Oh, Ooh, look at that cream is melting. Mm -mm. Not right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright, let's use a round of chocolate. I didn't ruin my oil. Because it stopped chocolatey now. That's what that brown is. Can you fry stuff in chocolate oil, man? About to find out. Alright, here we go. Oh, yeah, look, it completely disintegrated. It's not there at all anymore. <laughs> well, now we know. Definitely need to freeze them first if it's chocolate. Right. Give it a flip. These are working pretty well. You still want this thing to keep it from. What do you guys think? Something you feel like you can try at home? Hey Linda! You're not too late. We're just firing up some Oreos. Oreos. So those are chocolate. Do another round of chocolate. And then we'll do more vanilla. 
not too many in them. So have some fun. Give it a try. I'm going to have pancake batter mix left. I guess I need to cook up some pancakes. That's what we can. Oh, these are dangerous, you guys. Too dangerous. Rena, Rena says this is so fun to watch. Oh, thank you. All right, don't forget to give me coffee emojis, guys. Remind me to drink. Ooh, fried keto Oreos. Mmm. No, I can't try deep fried Oreos. They're not very diabetic friendly. They are not. That is correct. Alright, turn this down a smidgen. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Do 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 I'm seeing Indiana Jones here. Oh, coconut oil wouldn't be a bad idea. Ooh, fried zucchini is good too, Jupiter. I love fried zucchini. Usually if they have like fried zucchini out, I'll get it. I don't even like fried pickles. You guys are fried pickles fan. Love fried pickles. Alright, let's do the uh, another round of vanilla. I should have picked out those crusties. That makes your oil go bad faster because it's cooking pieces like scraps, you know, that you don't need. And it's going to make your oil, it's called skimming your oil to get that, the little crusty bits out. Heard that a lot on the line. Are you skimming? Skim the oil. <laughs> All right. Does look pretty good. Look pretty good. Guys, I gotta hand them over to the children soon. Okay, I gotta make some for husband. See, these are chocolate. I'm trying to keep them organized. Oh, fried pickles and gr I've never had fried green tomatoes, Amanda. I need to try that. My grandmother went to a restaurant in Colorado. Instead of having onion rings, they had um, peppered ring, bell peppers. Oh, fried pepper, bell peppers. I bet that's good too. Zucchini's so good too. I love fried zucchini. I never really had zucchini until I worked at Ruby Tuesday and they would cook it on the line saute it and I was like oh I actually like sauteed zucchini. I wonder if this is something you think you can freeze these and then cook them in the air fryer to reheat them up like if I batch cook these. I don't know what do you guys think. Yes. And this oil says it had that chocolate bar melted in it. I'm not going to try that chocolate bar. I know that's kind of tempting, but I feel like it should be in there for a while longer than we have. But, pretty good amount. Fried Oreos. Very easy. Easy to do at home. Alright. 
fried green tomatoes on their menu. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have some around here. Be fun to make. Hey guys, make sure you're giving me a thumbs up if you're here. Oh, hey, Tonja, how are you? We just made some fried Oreos. Fried corn fritters, ooh, those are good. Fried okra, fried okra is good too. Oh, you like my apron? Thank you. Matches with my blue, blue shirt here. Uh, Katia, is that right? Hello, how are you? I always give you a thumbs up because you do a good job. Ah, thank you, Amanda. I appreciate that. All right, and then we have extra batter. Like, that makes a lot of batter, and that's just, like, two cups of flour. So, I might cook some of that up, too, just to have put some chocolate chips in there for the kids. I still got a good chunk of Oreos left for the midnight snacks, you know. Dump it on the other side of the kitchen because we're going to make some dinner. Okay. All right. So we got potatoes here, put in the Instant Pot. And then this is barbecue pork that's been going in the crock pot all day. <coughs> I have just the marinade that I made for it and then I put one onion in there. So that's all the flavor. And then it just shreds apart. And this is just going to be, we're gonna add barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays here. And that's it. We're having pulled pork on a baked potato. I might cut that up a bit too. Easier for the kids to gnaw, eat. I'm just going to kind of rough chop this some um, into the smaller pieces. This was just a pork loin, I believe. Shredding pretty easily. I've had this going, I don't know, probably eight hours on low, cooking away. Let's add this. This is a kind of cold sauce, so hopefully it doesn't make this too cold. You can always pop this in the toaster oven or the air fryer even to get it crispy on top. You might do that actually. I think I talked myself into it. Don't cook too poor or pulled pork too often. It just always seems to be super dry to me. But that's just my personal preference. But I made a bunch for freezer meals and I'm glad I did. I thawed it before I put it in there. But you could totally cook it from frozen. I have a couple other freezer meals that I'm working on. Oh yeah, that's good. that's good. And that was just one. I had two of them in there. 
And I cooked these for 15 minutes in the Instapot. These were fully like, raw whole potatoes, you know. <laughs> Like the cheese I got. Buffalo Ranch Monterey Jack. I think that looks pretty good. So I got some of this. I think the first thing I'm going to do though. Oh, We're gonna put the, the pork there. I'm gonna do like little slices. Buffalo Ranch. Jeez. I think I'm gonna give it a try. Woo! Got spicy. I'm gonna put that on mine. <laughs> I'm gonna put Hobby Jack on the kids. Well, I'm just doing one for the kids, so we'll cut it up and then they can, we can make them another one. I also have sour cream because this just seems like a sour cream dish to me. And then Colby Jack, like I just ran to the local IGA to get this sour cream and cheese for this meal. I need to go to the chef store and get my bulk items. It's so much cheaper, especially when you do how much cooking that I do. Alright, I'm just going to go nuke this for 30 seconds. Nuke. <laughs> what do you guys think? Looks good so far so far you'll take the leftovers <laughs> yes Tandra barbecue sauce is great with pork it does help with the to me the over the dryness of it you know hey Violet that's the sauce I use all the time it's a really good one Uh, this is just flour. It's not sourdough. Sourdough is on my list, though, to try. I'm going to do 30 more seconds. She isn't quite melting. I think I could have grated it. But. Put in crock pot, put sauce pot, cook for six hours. Chef Mike, that's right. Chef Mike's making an appearance. My husband was seeing this on YouTube and he rushed home to eat. <laughs> Made him hungry too, huh? The container on the counter is just flour. Thank you, Kelly. All right. Fly or fly or. Looks pretty darn good. And then let's do a gallop, gallop of sour cream. Make like a loaded little pork burrito. It's pretty good to me. Let's take a bite. I couldn't find any butter. That's what I was looking for to put some butter on that potato before I put the pulled pork on it. I feel like that would have been good. 
looks pretty good. I love the combination of hot food with cold, like, condiments, like cold sour cream. Mm. That's pretty good. Potato does need some love. Maybe I can fluff it up some more butter, salt, pepper, and then put the pulled pork on top of it. So I'm going to pass you a fork. Mm-hmm. Amanda, the kids are not outside. They're just sitting down, chilling, playing on some games. They got bribed with Pokemon cards. Oh, Holly says she bribed him. <laughs> That's so good. Yep. I mean, I sat them down and I told them my expectations of them and the consequences. If they don't heed my, my, my wishes and demands, they would lose thy consequence. I don't know. You know what I'm saying. I did all that. Responsible parenting first. <laughs> Before bribing. Woo. I think husband would like this though. Woo. Hot. Potato's hot. Oh, it looks good though. I like having it that way. I need to eat more on a potato. And do you like broccoli and some cheese and make like a broccoli cheese potato too? I could always deep fry some olives. Nah, they're onto it. They weren't listening to me. I'll take it. I'd put cauliflower rice under that and my creamy cheese cauliflower mash under that. That would be good too. Well guys, I think I'm going to call it an early night. Got some food done that was good. I'm gonna keep eating. Um, try these fried Oreos. I thought they were really good. What do you guys think? Like that's something you can do? I mean, it wasn't that easy. And that was a super easy um, pancake recipe too. This is the vanilla Oreo. Mama? Yeah? Mom, are the chicks in the garage? No, they're still out in the chicken tractor. Yeah, we gotta bring them in. Chores to do. Mm-mm. Yeah, next time with the olives, huh? <laughs> fried olives would be good. Mmm, fried broccoli. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a good weekend as well. Make sure you like this. I did post a video today of some new baby chicks that we got, so if we haven't seen that video. Go give that a look over. You just the kids' reactions are priceless. Plus, the Betty Jan knows quite a bit about chicks, and she shares her knowledge. And it's just I don't. Know, I'm impressed. I'm sure I'm biased because I'm mom, but I'm impressed with her, and I think that you guys would enjoy it as well. So go give that movie look, or go, that movie. Go give that video a look over if you haven't watched it yet. But thank you so much, guys. Have a good night, and I'll catch you next time on Mama Boots. Bye.